A short time ago, an American airplane dropped one bomb on Hiroshima and destroyed its usefulness to the enemy. That bomb has more power than 20,000 tons of TNT. The second bomb was intended for the city of Kokura, but it was too cloudy, so the plane moved on to Nagasaki. The Japanese began the war from the air at Pearl Harbor. They have been repaid many fold, and the end is not yet. With this bomb, we have now added a new and revolutionary increase in destruction to supplement the growing power of our armed forces. In their present form, these bombs are now in production, and even more powerful forms are in development. It is an atomic bomb. It is a harnessing of the basic power of the universe. The force from which the sun draws its power has been loosed against those who brought war to the Far East. We have spent more than $2 billion on the greatest scientific gamble in history. And we have won. interrupt this program to bring you a special news bulletin. The Japanese have attacked Pearl Harbor, Hawaii, by air, President Roosevelt has just announced. The attack also was made on all naval and military activities on the principal island of Oahu. Take you now to Washington. Yesterday, December 7th, 1941, a date which will live in infamy, the United States of America was suddenly and deliberately attacked by naval and air forces of the Empire of Japan. The facts of yesterday and today speak for themselves. No matter how long it may take us, to overcome this premeditated invasion, the American people in their righteous might will win through to absolute victory.
General Groves was lying on the ground in the prone position, facing away from the blast, what he said was going through his mind was, what was he going to do when the timer got to zero and nothing happened? At 5.30 a.m., July 16, 1945, the world entered the atomic age with an intense flash, a sudden wave of heat, followed by a tremendous shock wave. The ball of fire extended 40,000 feet. The bomb packed a punch equivalent to 20,000 tons of TNT, the high end of most of the scientists' predictions. Completely vaporizing the steel tower, and heating the desert sand into glass for a radius of 800 yards. What caught me was, I hadn't thought, the heat of the fireball would heat my face exactly as at sunrise. It became brighter and brighter and rose, and I knew that soon it will be used over, over Japan, and then it will not be just an experiment. I saw an aircraft, like a tiny silver drop, entering the sky above Hiroshima. I instantly recognized it as an American plane, as no Japanese aircraft could fly at that altitude at the time. It was just one plane, so I assumed that it was passing by as usual. I was counting. Ichi ni san. Screen go fu deta. 
I was wiping the desktop. That was when the bomb was dropped. Ne. After falling for 43 seconds, the time and barometric triggers started the firing mechanism. A uranium bullet fired down a barrel into a uranium target. Together, they started a nuclear chain reaction. Solid matter began to come apart, releasing untold quantities of energy. Then I slowly opened my eyes and for the first time looked in the direction of the light. Just at that moment, a mushroom cloud appeared. People who saw this in Hiroshima are nearly all dead by now. There is barely anyone left now who can say they actually saw it happen. I'm not emotional. I didn't have a first goddamn thought. Or I'd have told you what it was. I did the job and I was so relieved that it was successful, you can't understand it. Seeing the fires in, on the ground and the cloud coming up, then you get pretty uh, distressed that there's such havoc down there and people are suffering. There are no exact figures for the number who died in the instant of the explosion, but tens of thousands of people in the open near the fireball vanished in a fraction of a second. I received this afternoon a message from the Japanese government in reply to the message forwarded to that government by the Secretary of State on August 11th, I deem this reply a full acceptance of the Potsdam Declaration, which specifies the unconditional surrender of Japan. In the reply, there is no qualification. Arrangements are now being made for the formal signing of the surrender terms at the earliest possible moment. General Douglas MacArthur has been appointed the Supreme Allied Commander to receive the Japanese surrender. Great Britain, Russia, and China will be represented by high-ranking officers. Meantime, the Allied Armed Forces have been ordered to suspend offensive action. This is one of the greatest celebrations that we have ever seen from the Marquis of the Hotel Astor here in New York City. 
People, I, I should estimate at least 350,000 or more, it's pretty hard to estimate at this point, are cheering and screaming, making noise with sound makers, throwing confetti and bits of paper, streamers, and all sorts of things that they can find to celebrate this greatest of all victories, the surrender of the Japanese. of our times, the fact that atom bombs may someday be dropped on our cities, and let us prepare for survival, understanding the weapon that threatens us. <laughs>